identical in their physiology, psychologies, all their biologies, yeah. right? Now, what I'm saying to you, and I'd love to ask anyone this, if it's not just you. Of if we agree with the premise that identical things should be treated equally and that men and women are not identical, there should be a therefore there, it's a deduction. Therefore, men and women should not be treated absolutely equally. So for example, right? And this is why I think there is a fallacy in the feministic argument, because when feminists on the one hand, they argue for uh, equal outcomes, equal opportunities for me is not that controversial. I'm not talking about equal opportunities. I agree that there should be to a, should to, a, to, not, to a greater extent than not. Should we not concentrate on that as opposed no, no, to something to, that to, we both have said no, that no, is not really yeah, a thing? To, to a greater extent, but yeah. there are exceptions to the rule. Like, for example, the situation in America yeah. where the, the firefighters in America had to go through a whole, like, um, you know, a whole, uh, you know, they do like a physical challenge, yeah? Like, they, they do it in like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever. And the feminists campaign against them. And because m men are faster and stronger than women, as can be noticed by almost every sport that they have taken, with almost no controversy whatsoever. No controversy whatsoever. I'll give you an example. You say that. Men no, let me just finish. Sorry, I haven't finished the sentence. I just want to say that because of the, fem the feminists rallying the fire firefighting professional or professionals and saying that we don't want this, what's happened is that they've had to. The, the time, the course that they would have to do, the physical course, that would have taken, let's say, 10 minutes. They've had to add, let's say, a minute to it. Why? So that they can be more inclusive of women. Now, the question is, if there is a burning building, if there is a burning building, who would you want to save you? A woman that could come 30 seconds later or a man that will come 30 seconds earlier will save your life. I believe you, the biggest feminist in the building would want a man to come, even if it means admission that in this situation, we don't want equality of opportunity or outcome. If so this is just one specialized example. I'm not saying society is, is filled with those examples, but this is, a, is an exacerbated example of a situation where it's very clear that men have an advantage over women and a, a non-recognition of this is tantamount to life and death. So this is where feminism can lead to death. Now, the point I'm making to you is we have to look, because you're a man of science and you talk about empiricism and rationalism and these things. If we look holistically and once again, uh, what is the most effective and efficient thing for an economy, we have to take into consideration those factors. Once again, feminists, don't, and this is the, the argument of Warhol Farron, he says that they don't take into consideration the fact that men have been conscripted into the armies for maybe 10, uh, 10 for, the, for, the, for the whole of American history. There's been cons male conscription, there has never been female conscription. If we want uh, to equalize the historical problem of patriarchal society, what we're going to need to do is conscribe women to an army for the same amount of times that we've conscribed men to the army. So if we want equality, we, now we have to get women drafted, forced into being in an army, drafted and forced into being in an army the same amount of times that men had been in the past. But this argument, this is why it's a fallacious argument, and it's premised on a false premise. And the premise is, despite the naturalistic, uh, the, despite the natural differences, we should have the uh, equality on every uh, in every level and i'm saying to you that, that doesn't make any sense if we accept the premise that identical things should be treated equally and we identify that women are not identi they are not identical to men then there must be a there must be a space at least in some instances where women will be treated differently to men that's why we have maternity leave that's why we have so many things society has put in place for women. That's why, you, that's why in emergencies, women and children are taken out first before men, because it's assumed men are more physically self-sufficient, and rightfully, in my opinion, assumed that men are more physically self-sufficient than women. That's why men have been drafted into the armies, and that's why women have been able to enjoy the privilege of being protected by male military men for almost all of civilization cross-culturally. So we can't have our cake and eat it both. We can't say we want equality of outcome and opportunity, but at the same time, have these exceptions which feminists put in place, you see, which of course entitle them to things which are otherwise not.